Hey everybody, this is Doug with Fanatic Bike Co. Um, today I'm bringing you guys a different style of video. Uh, given the circumstances with the coronavirus going around and uh, people being urged to stay home and work from home, uh, I'm working from home here, got my little desk set up. Um, it's still good to go out and get some exercise when you can, um, and that's something we're being encouraged to do uh, as long as we respect the guidelines put in place and, and be safe and healthy about it. Um, and for us, that generally means riding our bikes. Um, and you know, when we ride our bikes, we want to think about minimizing the amount of risks that we're taking when we're doing that. So what we're going to do today is I'm going to take you guys on what I call a low risk mountain bike ride. Should be pretty exciting. Um, I have some pretty sweet cross country trails behind my house. Um, so I'm going to take you guys along with me and I'll show you guys some fun things you can do on your bike to, uh, stay entertained and get some good exercise. So let's do it. All right. I'll be riding my 2020 transition patrol not really a cross-country bike but this is a run what you brung situation i brung it so i'm gonna run it um let's go ride some bikes so it's still important to think about that six foot rule you know at a very minimum um you know being on trails especially trails like this that are multi-use uh there's gonna be a lot of foot traffic too so if you come across somebody give them plenty of space you know at least six feet if you can and uh and yeah, just be conscious of other people because everybody wants to get out and get some exercise. So, so yeah, let's go get some. We've encountered our first challenge here. Steep climb, quick, quick steep climb. Uh, so let's see if we can do it. This is a good time to practice stuff like this because it's really hard to get hurt climbing. All right, let's see what we got here. Oh my gosh, am I out of shape? Oh, we're sliding, nope, nope, nope. All right, we high marked it. Let's give this another go. All right, second attempt. I'm already out of breath. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Feeling it. Oh yeah. That's what I'm freaking talking about. I feel like this goes without saying, but another thing to, to take into mind when you're gonna go out and ride your bike is don't eat a sandwich with a bunch of spicy pickled jalapenos in it right before doing so because your stomach's not going to like it very much yowza so this is a great time to go check out some of those lower lower consequence trails right now like like this stuff like i said it's all mellow cross country just behind my house and uh there's actually lots that i haven't really explored back here and it's right behind my house i generally go to the you know, Galbraith or Chuckanut area if I want to go get some good, oh, we got some mud. Get some good downhills going, but, but this is good. Oh my God, honing the, uh, the XC skills. I'm thinking, right, another turning point, a fork stuck in the road. Oh, we got a left. Oh, we got a technical trail feature. This is exactly the kind of stuff you want to you want to be doing on your bike right now not every ride has to be an all-out thrasher you know sometimes it's nice to just take it back a few notches and enjoy the uh enjoy the wilderness wilderness oh look at this corner yeah here's something let's do this good thing to do work on your corners i am trash at pretty much every aspect of mountain biking so this is great. Um, I'm gonna go up this, turn around, go hit that little right-hander. There's a little freshie. All right, I think I hear the Red Bull helicopter. Let's send it. There we go, a little booter. horrible manual and we'll roll the double because we're taking a chill all right so the guys in the heli called they said hey hit it again so we're gonna hit it again i guess all right let's do this <laughs> here we go Hope 
they're happy with that one. One important thing to keep in mind uh, if you are going to go ride your bike is to keep it local. You know, ride from your house if you can. I understand not all of us have the ability to do that, but if you can, I would certainly encourage that. Um, and another thing is you, if you do need a drive to go ride, uh, make sure you keep it local and uh, stick with what's in your town or neighborhood because, you know, we just want to minimize the amount of contact we have with people. And oh my goodness, we got to climb up this bad boy. Taking back. Oh God. Oh my God, I sound like an old man getting out of the tub. Oh. There we go. Thoroughly sweating. All right, so we got a nice little section of, of zippy little single track here. So let's uh, not overwhelm the uh, hospital system and get hurt on it. So keep it mellow. And here we go. Here we go. Oh, it's a Lomer, folks. Oh boy. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Uh huh. Uh huh. Drop. Uh huh. It's going like 10 miles an hour so fast. Oh my God. Oh yeah. Have you ever seen speed like this? Yes, because everybody is faster than me. And then we go this way. It's a little manual. Then we turn right and left. All right. And then we go down. Oh my god. Uh -huh. All right, so to summarize things you want to keep in mind when you go out and ride your bike right now is remember, you know, first off, uh, if you encounter people on the trails, uh, keep your distance to at least six feet, um, you know, as much as you can if possible. Um, stay local, you know, ride locally. Uh, if, you can, if you can pedal to the trails from your house, that's the best option if you need to drive. Uh, definitely assess how busy it is when you get there. If it's super busy, maybe think, think about going somewhere else, some, somewhere like this where it's a, uh, hey, where it's a uh, little, we got a rider out here. Say hi to Fanatic Blanco. Hi, how's it going? <laughs> We're just telling people how to ride safely. This guy knows. Oh, yeah. Yeah, keeping it, keeping it low impact. That's the way to do it. Um, so yeah, keep your distance. Stay away from people if you can. Ride, uh, ride within your limits and uh and don't drive to the trailhead if you don't have to and keep it local so enjoy it